Welcome back, beautiful Tri-State area. You're listening to A Moment of Zen right here on 710 WOR, the voice of New York iHeartRadio. I'm your host, Zen Sams. Up next in just a few minutes in our Going Deep segment brought to you by CO2 Lift, we're featuring celebrity dermatologist, Dr. Janine Downey. She's board certified and she's the director of Image Dermatology PC in Montclair, New Jersey. She's been honored as one of New York Metropolitan's top doctors. Impressively, she's a medical consultant for the Today Show, Good Morning America, and Dr. Oz. That's just to name a few. She's a highly sought-after lecturer and consultant, often performing FDA and investigator-initiated clinical trials for many of the top-tier pharmaceutical companies. Her newspaper and magazine credits include USA Today, The New York Times, InStyle, Allure, Prevention, The Oprah Winfrey Magazine, the list goes on and on. Her first book, Beautiful Skin of Color, is a comprehensive skincare guide for Asian, olive, and dark skin. Today, she joins me to chat about secret hacks for skin of color and to help me demystify the stigmas surrounding female sexual health. Now, you're probably not used to thinking of skin as an organ, but it's actually the largest organ of the body. It has a myriad of functions and is a big contributor to overall health. Skin of color requires some special attention to keep it healthy and attractive. It's prone to some conditions which are not typical of white skin, such as hyperpigmentation or the risk that skin cancers tend to be more advanced at the time of diagnosis. So what are the best ways to take care of darker skin? Well, many people of color struggle to find good products and they get bad advice from those who aren't experienced in treating their skin. Now it's all about the change. Welcoming now to the show is my expert at hand, Dr. Janine Downey. Hi, Zen. Thank you so much for having me. I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. And congrats on all your success. You are quite the celebrity yourself. Thank we're, you. We're going to dive right in. So what are some of the inflammatory conditions one can experience with skin of color? Okay, inflammatory conditions. So there's eczema, there's psoriasis, there's acne. Um, there are a ton of different disorders, but focusing on those three, because a lot of people will come to see me for those three. I myself had really bad acne growing up. And we were saying off mic before you're in Bergen County. I grew up in Bergen County in Teaneck. I went to Teaneck high school. And unfortunately I think I was the child that had the most pimples at my entire high school, which is not great when both my brothers were models. So it kind of, it was what it was. And, um, inflammatory wise, what happens is any pimple can leave a dark spot, especially in skin of color. If you're Caucasian, more of a red spot. If you're brown, more of a dark spot. And that can take months and months and months to go away. And if you sit here and you pick it and you mess with it, then it'll be much, much, much worse. Eczema, hyperpigmentation, and or psoriasis, which is more violet patches with silvery scale. You can see it on the elbows, on the knees, in people that are afflicted, sometimes all over their scalp, sometimes in their ears. And these conditions, if scratched and picked, can leave big brown patches that can also take months to go away. So I tell my patients one of my nice ways of treating all three of those is with the CO2 lift, which is a wonderful product, uh, which is, it, it employs what we call the bore effect. So it's actually putting moisture back into your skin and helping to decrease inflammation and calm down inflammation. It can be used on your face. It can be used in your scalp. It can be used in your ears. And we'll get to private parts later, but it can be used there too for eczema and or psoriasis. Obviously, hopefully people aren't getting acne down there. Ooh, I love how you said that. Mm -hmm. Now, at what age do these conditions typically present themselves? And, And yes, we will get to CO2 in just a bit, but I'm interested to know, is this an onset of adolescence? Is this in the 20s, 30s? What what increased demographic in your practice do you see uh, typically these conditions present themselves and how would you treat them? Right. So I tell everybody the same thing. Acne presents itself depending. It depends around 11, 12, 13. Um, Some people don't get acne until they're adults. So it varies. With eczema, A lot of people have it as babies. I had it as a baby um, and I have it still now, but I have it much more under control, fortunately. And then psoriasis can pop up at any time. Genetically, typically you tend to have a family history of acne, of eczema or of psoriasis, but it depends on your hormones. It depends on your stress level. um, And for things like acne and psoriasis, 
it can depend on your weight. So if you're gaining a lot of weight, that can make your acne worse, not better. And if you're gaining a lot of weight, that can make your psoriasis worse, not better. Eczema is not typically weight dependent, but the other two can be. And then stress exacerbates any skin condition, just like it can exacerbate so much else as well. So for example, with a lot of my skin of color patients, uh, obesity rates in African-American women are off the charts in this country, unfortunately. And so I'm forever encouraging all of my patients, you know, regardless of what ethnicity they are and what race they are to exercise. But with my African-American female patients in particular, I try to inspire them because I over-exercise. So I exercise seven days a week, rain or shine, all the time, doesn't matter. I'm either indoors or I'm outdoors. And that doesn't really give my muscles a chance to rest. I know this but I'm stubborn. So I still do it. Anyway. <laughs> and it decreases whatever stress load of acne I'm going to get because I still break out now, but I have it under control and it decreases for me, my eczema. So that's one way of handling kind of the inflammatory condition. Now there's a pervasive misconception that darker skin does not need sunscreen. What do you say to this? You need to wear sunscreen every day with an SPF, regardless of which skin condition you have, and even if you don't have a skin condition, you need to wear sunblock every single day, an SPF of 30, rain or shine, January through December, regardless of your ethnicity and regardless of your sex, and regardless of whether or not you're indoors or outdoors. Because we as humans, we react to indoor lighting and outdoor lighting. Blue light from the phone, the computer, the Apple Watch, the iPad, all helps with hyperpigmentation. Every expert I've had on has systematically said that sun damage does not discriminate and can affect all skin types. It can negatively affect specifically skin of color, causing hyperpigmentation, rosacea, melasma, cutaneous lupus, photoaging or wrinkles, skin cancer. I mean, the list goes on and on. So without a doubt, it's imperative that a broad spectrum SPF 30 plus sunscreen regimen is implemented in all skin of color patients to protect against harmful UVA and UVB rays. But I will shift to the CO2lift.com. So CO2lift.com has a gel that from their studies show a 117% increase in hydration after only one application, as well as 26% increase in elasticity after six treatments. Now, this type of hydration is optimal. How could carbon dioxide therapy affect the health of the skin? Can you elaborate? Absolutely. So it employs something called the Bohr effect, B-O-H-R, where it's pulling moisture into your skin, helping to decrease fine lines and wrinkles, helping to decrease inflammation within your skin. That's a decrease in your rosacea, decrease in your melasma, decrease in your acne, your eczema, your psoriasis. Um, there's something else called seborrheic dermatitis, which is kind of like an angry case of dandruff, which it can help to decrease that as well. And my patients simply like it so much. For a lot of the eyelid dermatitis, you can use it around the eyes because it's not too strong to use around the eyes. You can use it around the lips. So even in very sensitive skinned areas, you can still use this product. And what it does is it really uber hydrates the skin and brings back moisture into the skin, which my patients love. For example, I was just sharing you with you before we went on air that I was in Paris and I just got back yesterday. So of course, last night I put my hair up and I put a CO2 lift on my face to rehydrate my face because all that plane travel, plus all the running around I did at that medical conference last week when I was in Paris, really dehydrated and dried my skin out. So I put the CO2 lift on from the top of my forehead, including my eyelids, all over my face, including my lips, down my neck, and then I put the excess little bit I had left on the backs of my hands. So I do recommend to my patients, they do that continually, especially before they have a big event, uh, before they have a big presentation, before they're gonna do something on TV, that type of thing, just to look better yes. on a daily basis, yeah. whatever it is that they want. Oh, I'm a huge fan. I use mm -hmm. it weekly mm -hmm. as well. And I even use the vaginal treatment, which we'll get into a sec, but you know, mm -hmm. it, it, with it, this science, the science doesn't lie. It increases right. the presence of wound repair factors and growth factors, which we know help cells turn over faster, reducing the appearance of aging and scars and stretch marks. And it also stimulates collagen and elastin production, which promotes elasticity and helps right. retain hydration. And of course, improving local metabolism and elimination of waste products, which helps the body heal localized damage, such as scars or acne hyperpigmentation. And my favorite is the regenerating and repairing damaged tissue to help clients achieve that better looking and feeling skin. I've been using it after my explant surgery on my open wounds, on my, mm. uh, on my lollipop lift that Dr. Rankin did, 
I explanted my breast implants after 14 years. There was a faulty valve, mm. and that's another conversation. But mm. I'm I am, sorry. Mm. So, yeah, so is FDA not, right? Mm. Um, now, as a dermatologist, we're going to segue a little bit. One who advocates female empowerment. How do you feel about vaginal skin care? So a lot of my patients kind of quietly come in and buy the CO2 lift because it really does add moisturization, not only to our faces and our necks and our hands, but to our vaginas. And nobody wants to talk about the vagina, but men like to cozy up next to it. And we women, we have one. So, and if you are on this earth as a human, you came out of one. So we need to talk about vaginas more and just be kind of comfortable with our sexual health. So a lot of my patients, as they start to get older, they get a little more dry. They're not happy with that. And this is one way of combating the dryness. So it's a, a vaginal, you know, kind of like it's in a little tube, like a tampon. You pop it up there. You let it sit for a while, hang out for like 45 minutes. You can use it for moisturization on your labia, that type of thing also. And it increases the circulation. It increases the moisturization. And it can, for some people, increase their orgasm later, which is a very good thing. A lot of my male patients will use it as well because it boosts the circulation and it stimulates the blood flow to that area for a more intense experience, which I think if you're going to have sex, you're obviously looking for an intense, positive experience. So this is one of those things. It's hypoallergenic. So no, it does not smell like anything. There's no scent. It's fragrance-free and it's cleared for use of the genitals. So a lot of my patients are worried, is this going to make things worse? Is this going to do this? It's very soothing for my patients, for example, then that have razor bumps down there. Um, it's very soothing for my patients that have a little touch of eczema down there. Obviously very soothing for anybody that has vaginal dryness that wants to use it. And it's extremely, extremely good for my patients that have a very difficult condition called LSNA which is lichen sclerosis at atrophicus. That's which is my when... next question. Okay. So CO2 lift V improves sensitivity, urinary incontinence, uh, mild laxity of the vaginal and, and labia, of the right. vagina and labia, as well as what you just said, lichen sclerosis, which is a rare skin disease that causes itchy and painful patches of thin, white, wrinkled looking skin. And in women, to my understanding, these may occur on the vulva and or the skin around the anus. And in men, it typically affects the head of the penis. Now, this is what right. Dr. Leonardo and I talked about this. But can you describe the CO2 vaginal treatment process and its effectiveness uh, specifically for lichen sclerosis? Absolutely. So my patients will come in, their vaginas feel constricted, they can have whitish patches, they can be itchy, or they can just be, you know, painful in general. And after using the CO2 lift for a while, like you said before, it can build collagen. So it helps to improve elasticity down there. So they get their elasticity back, they get moisturization back, and it helps to heal the inflammation because of the blood rushing to that area and the fact that it improves circulation in that area. So my patients are really thrilled with it. And I would say LSNA is one of those difficult conditions. So it definitely has to be used repeatedly. This is not a one and done, but like I always tell my patients, you're not gonna do one push up or one sit up and stop. So skincare is constant, just like vaginal care is also constant. I love this narrative. Well, we mm -hmm. are officially, officially out of time. You are, that's why you are the lecturer, the, the, the famous dermatologist that everybody has talked about. And thank you so much for coming on and gracing us with your presence. You are a plethora of, of information and it was such a great conversation because it's one thing to hear consumers say, hey, I'm using CO2 lift and I love it. But then when you get the medical endorsement and the medical community behind it saying, hey, listen, I use it on me. Dr. Beisman, uh, last week's interview, said, I, I actually put it on my face. And he was, you know, here we go, this older white man saying, I actually put it on my on my face. And it was just interesting to see his enthusiasm about the product, which was great. And your your listeners and your viewers need to know that they can just call my office at Image Dermatology in Montclair. You do not have to be a patient. We will discreetly, with a proper credit card, of course, it's not free, <laughs> ship it out to whomever it is. You do not have to be a patient of mine to get the product. You just need to call Image Dermatology in Montclair, and I'm happy to ship it anywhere in the continental United States. 
No, I love that. We're, mm-hmm. we're definitely going to send lots. And you're local, so we're definitely sending lots of people your way. Thank you so much for coming on. It was an absolute pleasure chatting with you. Thank you kindly. Thank you very much for having me. That was Janine Downey, Director of Image Dermatology PC in Montclair, New Jersey, an assistant attending at Mountainside and Overlook Hospitals. You can check her out directly on her YouTube channel at The Gist Show or on the gram at Janine Downey or head directly to their website at imagedermatology.com. That was our Going Deep segment brought to you by CO2Lift.com. Do check them out directly at CO2Lift.com or on the gram at CO2Lift. You're listening to A Moment of Zen right here on 710 WOR, the voice of New York iHeartRadio. We'll be right back after this. A Moment of Zen is brought to you by CO2 Lift. As we age, our skin loses moisture and elasticity, causing wrinkled skin. You can reverse this aging process with CO2 Lift. CO2 Lift utilizes the powerful benefits of carbon dioxide to lift, tighten, and regenerate your skin. This simple, painless at home carboxy therapy treatment is scientifically proven to reverse the aging process. You will see reduction in wrinkles, increase in luminosity, and improve pigmentation, sagging, skin tone, and radiance. For more information or to order CO2 Lift, go to CO2 Lift lift.com.